looking at the math and the path going forward, and I don't see it for Nikki Haley. I She's run a great campaign, but I do think there is a message that's coming out from the voters, which is very clear. We need to unite around our eventual nominee, which is going to be Donald Trump, and we need to make sure we beat Joe Biden. It is 10 months away till the November election, and we can't wait any longer to put our foot on the gas, to beat the worst president, to beat a president that's kept our borders open, allowed fentanyl to pour through, allowed inflation to, to go rampant. He is hurting the American people, and we need to do everything we can to unite so that we can defeat him. We've won almost every single poll in the last three months against crooked Joe Biden. Almost every poll. And she doesn't win those polls. And she doesn't win those. This is not your typical victory speech, but let's not have somebody take a victory when she had a very bad night. Congratulate Donald Trump on his victory tonight. He earned it, and I want to acknowledge that. Now, you've all heard the chatter among the political class. They're falling all over themselves, saying this race is over. Well, I have news for all of them. Woo! New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. Yeah! This race is far from over. Now, this campaign all heads to South Carolina. That's where it becomes all the more critical because that is Nikki Haley's home state. It's where she was governor and the risks are very high. If she loses there, she loses a lot of political capital for any future campaigns. We've been speaking to voters here today. This proved to be very much Trump country here at this polling booth, the largest in New Hampshire. And there is still that devoted base to Donald Trump who want to see him vindicated at the polling booth this November. Donald Trump. Why Donald Trump? Because he's the man to do everything. He's good. Yeah. Did you consider Nikki Haley? I did not. Trump. Yeah. Why Trump? Why not? He's going to do something that people don't want. Uh, yes. Did you consider Which is a good Haley? thing. Yeah. Did I consider her? Yeah. Yes. I just it. <laughs> And just this evening, Joe Biden's put out a statement saying it's now clear that Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee and my message to the country is the stakes could not be higher. Our democracy, our personal freedoms, from the right to choose to, to the right to vote. Our economy, which has seen the strongest recovery in the world since COVID, all are at stake. He was at an event highlighting access to abortion, which has been a key vote loser for Republicans in the midterms and in a number of very important state level races. So this is not over for Nikki Haley by a long shot, but at the same time, it is becoming increasingly harder. She'll need a lot of campaign money to sustain herself for the next month and into Super Tuesday at the beginning of March.